Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, temperatures have been colder the past couple of days, noticeably colder today, and only in the 30s and cloudy, a little bit of a breeze out there. And so that took a little while to warm up. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. A view from the village at Meridian, as we look at the ice rink there, a couple of skaters outside. And uh, yeah, it's feeling a little more wintry temperature wise anyway, 34 degrees. And then northwest breeze at 10. If you're out in an exposed area where you feel that breeze, the wind chill factor is running in the 20s. So yeah, you can feel the cold. And a lot of cloud cover still around. In the blue there is some lingering snow shower. Some of this is ground cluttered, but there's some flurries out there that we had. That snow that came right up to our doorstep to the Oregon Idaho border Monday uh, this morning, but it just kind of melted away, really didn't make too much as that last storm system moved to the south. But our next storm system is going to send a fire hose of moisture into central Idaho. And you see the purple or pink areas, I should say. Those are winter storm warnings and starting in Malheur County. Three to seven inches of snow likely, 10 to 14 inches in the mountains. And the issue is going to be right here, this yellow line, or orange line. That's the interstate. And there's a good probability this is going to close through the blues uh, in Oregon uh, as we go Sometime during the day Wednesday, there's just too much wind coming in with this storm system. It blows the snow across the road and creates an issue. Weezer might get two to four inches of snow. Payette might get one to two inches of snow. Nothing likely in the Boise areas. We get snow showers and then really not much happening at all because of wind down sloping over the Hawaii mountains and that sinking air dries out. Also strong southeast surface winds come in and they're moving downhill from mountain home to Ontario and that dries out Ada County. But boy, it goes right up the mountains and in the winter Storm warnings for the Boise Mountains, 35 mile an hour wind gusts, some blowing and drifting of the snow. Be careful on Highway 21. It's really going to be difficult travel. And Highway 20 over the Camas Prairie might be impassable at times on Wednesday and Thursday due to the heavy snow and it potentially blizzard-like conditions because of the wind whipping. Uh, winter storm watches for the Sun Valley area, 4 to 27 inches of snow. That watch goes from Wednesday through Friday, while all the other warnings and advisories uh, in western Idaho are pretty much for the day on Wednesday. The McCall area could end up with eight, nine inches of snow out of this storm system with more to come over the weekend. And I've got to mention, I-84 is going to be rough travel, but I-80 going over Donner Pass. Wow, look at this. Winter storm warnings from tomorrow night through Friday. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. One to three feet with three to six feet on the passes, 90 mile per hour wind gusts on the ridge tops, and that's going to cause some huge issues over Donner. If you don't like traveling in snow, stay away from Donner uh, pretty much for the rest of the winter, or at least the next week or two. As here's our storm system, this will dive to the south and go right over central California. But this fire hose of moisture right here will eventually be sent right up into south into western Idaho and it targeting the Boise Mountains and the Wood River Valley. It's going to be a nice boost to a waning snowpack in the Wood River Valley. Snow showers tomorrow afternoon, but then here's the main snow starting to come in. 2.15 Wednesday morning, Ontario will be snowing. Payette County will be getting snow. It'll be accumulating. You'll be thinking, uh-oh, a major snow. And there will be a major snow right up Highway uh, 95 there. But notice how the valley just dries out. That's that drying wind coming in. All of the blue is in the mountains at 745 Wednesday, huge surge of moisture. Then on Thursday here in the morning, you see another surge of moisture again, targeting the mountains. The Thursday moisture will target again, Blaine County and points to the east, the interstate. You'll be thinking, where's all this crazy weather he's been talking about in the valley? Because not a lot's going to happen in Ada County. Very little precipitation will come in. Some snow showers and a lot of wind, though, a tremendous amount of wind coming through. So it's gusty wind and cold because of it, but the temperatures will be above freezing. You see nothing much happening in the valley, but in the mountains, this is a good appreciable amount of snowfall, a good 10 inches in the ski areas, could be four to eight inches, maybe nine inches in the McCall area between Wednesday and Thursday in the Sun Valley area. The mountains there, Ketchum could see a foot of snow easily for Wednesday and Thursday, if not more, and more likely on Baldy as we go into the weekend. Look at that, 23 inches could be the totals, and look at McCall. Snow chances late Tuesday night through Monday. It just keeps Keeps coming. The snow will continue for some time in the Central Mountains, so travel is going to be getting very wintry. For the Treasure Valley, 40 degrees tomorrow, light wind. It'll be in the 30s most of the day. It's going to feel quite cold, and we won't see much of anything, but the wind will start to kick in tomorrow evening and tomorrow night ahead of the storm system Wednesday. It'll be a cold, blustery Wednesday, but then the temperature goes to 46 in the afternoon, so snow showers in the morning disappearing, and then look at that Thursday, near 50 
in the valley, Don, it may think you think, wow, it's not so bad. But the mountains, it will be snowing a lot. Well, well, sure looks that way. All right. Thanks for the update, Scott.